This is an electromagnetic radiation. This pure oscillation can explain phenomena like the light coming from the sun, the radio wave, the X-rays, and so on. The electric field change inducing a variation in the magnetic field, and the magnetic field change inducing a variation in the electric field. This phenomenon repeats until a beautiful wave appears. You can proceed in two ways to arrive at this result. Calculate the electric field from the magnetic field and the magnetic field from the electric one, following the Maxwell equation. Or calculate only the electric component as a solution of the wave equation, and from that reconstruct the magnetic component. I did both of them. The important part of the force code is increasing the electric field by the closed magnetic components, and do the same with the magnetic field. PS. I define in this way the two vector values. For the second approach, the key point is this formula, derived from the discretization of the wave equation. In this formula, the intensity is the value of the field at this moment. The pre-intensity 1 is the previous value of the electric component, and the pre-intensity 2 is the value before of it. The magnetic component is calculated as before. Why I prefer this strange method since the first one is more physical? The answer is boundary condition. If you don't have a specific boundary condition, the wave tends to be reflected, creating a diverging and ugly behavior. This is exactly what is happening in the first case. In the second case, instead, thanks to the information I found in the article that I leave in the description, I found a way to implement an absorbing boundary condition. The formula is this. Here is the actual code. Remember that it must be applied to the last component of the electric field in order to work. Once you have done all of that, you can appreciate this masterpiece.